Hello everyone, I am Rishpa Jain, your math teacher. Welcome you all in virtual classes. I hope you all are fine and enjoy learning via virtual classes. So today we are going to continue our learning on the same platform. Before starting the new chapter, we are going to revise chapter 4, Geometry from the book Term 1. In this chapter, we have studied about many geometrical concepts like Point, Line, Line Segment and Width. In point, we have studied that if I am making a point anywhere like these. So, these are known as points. But what will we call to the point that we are using in between the digits in a number? This point is known as decimal. So today we are going to start chapter 4 decimal from the book term 2. Now the question is what is the meaning of decimal? Decimal is a point which is situated in between two digits in a number to break the number into two parts. This statement is telling us that decimal is a point that is situated in between two digits in a number to separate the number into two parts. Now the question is, what will we call to these two parts? As I have told you, this point is known as decimal. And the part left hand, left hand side to the point is known as whole part. And the part right hand side to the decimal is known as decimal part. Now, what do you mean by this whole part and decimal part? Whole part, it means that is complete. And the decimal part is a part of whole. When we are talking about a small part of whole. Now, do you think that if we have studied the statement part of whole are we are also? Yes, in previous chapter, chapter fractions, we have studied that fraction means part of whole. Now, the fraction means also part of whole and decimal part is also part of whole. It means both are same but the presentations are different. So, we can say that fraction and decimal are interlinked, interrelated to each other. And we will learn that this interlinked or interrelated part in another parts and other videos. Now we are moving forward to place value chart in decimal numbers. As I have told you a decimal is breaking a number into two parts. First whole part and decimal part. So now we are going to learn about the places of whole part and the decimal part. As we have studied all, already in the previous chapters that a whole part is having the places as ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, crore, ten crore and etc. And we have studied that ones will be represented by O, tens will be represented by T and hundreds will be represented by H. And we have studied one more thing in it that in months we will multiply the digit by 1, in tens we will multiply the digit by 10 and in 100 we will multiply the digit by 100. Now we have learned about the places of the whole part. Now what do we, how can we know about the places in the decimal part? For knowing about that first we will observe the table. We can observe that when we are moving from left to right, in each and every step, we are dividing by 10. 100 divided by 10 will be 10. 10 divided by 10 will be 1. So now, what will come when you will divide 1 by 10? It means this side we will divide by 10. 
Then we will divide by 100. Then we will divide by 1000. And if we are dividing by 10, so the place will be 10th. If we are dividing by 100, so the place will be 100th. And if we are dividing by 1000, so the place will be 1000th. Now what is the difference between the places of the whole part and the decimal part? The difference is there we are using the alphabet S. But this side we are using TH that we have studied in fraction also when we are talking about a part, part of whole. So this 10th will be represented by T, TH. 100 will be re represented by H. TH and 1000 will be represented by TH, TH like that. Now divide by 10 can be represented as multiply 1 upon 10. Divide by 100 can be represented as multiply 1 upon 100. And divide by 1000 can be represented as multiply 1 upon 1000. If we are representing the places of the decimal part in fractions. So it will be like this. But if we are representing the places 10, 100 and 1000 of the decimal part in decimal. It will be represented as 0 0.1. 100 will be represented as 0 0.01. And 1000 will be represented as 0 0.001. Now, in short, we can say that in this table we have studied the, the places of the whole part that are ones, tens, hundreds and the places of the decimal part that are tenth, hundred and thousandth. Now, the next is fractional form and decimal form of decimal places. The fractional form of tenth place is one upon ten. And the decimal form of 10th place is 0 0.1. The fractional form of 100th place is 1 upon 100. And the decimal form of 100th place is 0 0.01. The 1000th place. The fractional form of 1000th place is 1 upon 1000. And the decimal form of 1000th place is 0 0.001 Now it's time to get homework. So today's homework is do question 3 and 4 of exercise 4a that you can get on page number 83 in book. This is a book work. Now it's time to get fair notebook work in which you have to do the all parts of question 5 of exercise 4a that you can get on the same page, page number 83 in fair notebook. Now, before winding today's class, I just want to say stay home, stay safe. And please like and subscribe my channel for getting the notification for the latest update as soon as possible. And viewers, Please mention your name, class and section in comment box. Thank you.